Okay, hi, welcome back to Fridays with Fran. And this week we're going to be talking about our billy goats who've just gone out in the paddock with the nannies. Two days ago, our billy goats, our male goats, headed out in the field with our female goats. So they're called nannies. And that means we're now looking forward to kidding. So our baby goats have been born in March time. Now behind me we've got our boar goats, so in our boar goat paddock. They are actually a breed originally from South Africa um, and they've not been here in this country for very long. We call them our modern time breed of goat. They're also mainly used across the world as a meat goat as opposed to a milk producing goat. So they're quite big and quite chunky and robust. Although here at the farm park we mainly have them because they're incredibly friendly. They're big and push up and they'll eat an awful lot of animal snacks. So if you've been here at the farm park and bought animal snacks at the pay sheds, these will be the first goats you see and they're incredibly pushy, wanting to eat as much animal snacks as they can. With their big floppy ears, the kids are very docile and again, very, very sweet for you to come and visit. Uh, so on our goats' bottoms, you might see behind me, there's a couple of them with green marks on their bums. That's because our billy goat, his name is DC, we bought him last year. He's called DC because his mum's name was Beyonce. So the chap we bought him from named him DC, short for Destiny's Child. So he's a young chap. He's wearing green paint on his chest. We call this Raddle. And we use that to see if he's mated with any of our females. So when he mates them, he leaves a green mark on their bottom. And that means we know when they're due in the spring. So in about a week's time, we'll swap the colour from green to red. And then a week or so later, we'll swap it from red to blue and we can then know exactly within a week or so how close our goats are to giving birth. That means we can watch the right goats and have them there in our maternity ward at the right time. So he's been busy in two days. We've already got a handful of goats with green bottoms and say so we'll go on and hopefully you'll get most green and that'll mean most of our little goat kits will be born in March. We've got lambs due in February. We'll then be kidding through March and then we'll start lambing again towards the end of March uh, right through over the Easter holidays. We've got Bob here, she is the most annoying goat on the farm park, also probably the friendliest, but she'll be the one you're tripping over. She's the one that always escapes getting the food store um, and the most confident. Golden Guernsey paddock. Uh, this is a breed that was very hard hit during the Second World War, but thanks to the work of the Rare Breed Survival Trust and lots of enthusiasts and the British Goat Society, their numbers have been on a steady increase over recent years. Uh, the Golden Guernsey was traditionally a milk breed of goat and can still be used for that today. Um, they vary from being a very pale uh, blonde in colour right up to a dark ginger. Behind me we've got Lionel, so he is one of our Golden Guernsey billies. Now he is a particularly smelly goat. Now all billy goats at this time of year really do start to smell. They produce a pheromone. The idea is to attract the ladies, but to us it's particularly repulsive. Uh, they then wee it on their face, which is even more disgusting. Um, and on Wednesday when we put the billy goats out with the ladies, you could actually smell them from the car park. So there's a horrible musky smell went across the whole site. And most of that was coming from Lionel. Now in our Bagot paddock, this is the rarest breed of goat we have here on the farm and one of the rarest breeds of animal we have here on the farm. Although their numbers have been on a good increase over the last few years, there's now just over 300 breeding females across the country. So still a very small amount. We've got 14 of those females here on the farm. Uh, the Bagot is a very flighty, nervous breed of goat, almost like a wild goat. And behind me we've got Stan, our billy goat, and he is probably the most challenging billy goat we've had on the farm in an awful long time. He can easily jump a six bar gate as if it's a tiny little hurdle, so keeping him in has been quite a challenge over the summer. Although now he's out here with his ladies, he's definitely relaxed, but we're a little bit concerned what's going to happen over winter when he's lost interest and wants to start his rampage again.
So remember to like and subscribe. And if you've got any questions, then pop them in the comments below and we'll do our best to answer them next week. And next week, we're going to be looking at our Suffolk punches and particular Victoria, who just returned back to the farm. <laughs>